Let's rip into November. Here's what's coming up. So the first movie we're talking about, Harold and Kumar's 3D Christmas. It's just the misadventures, right? It's one of those slapstick comedies. It's Hangover, about yeah, it's about them. Yeah, exactly. It's just about them goofing off. Yeah, shooting Santa stupid. Claus. It's kind of like mocking the whole Christmas spirit, really. Pretty much. So, and I'm not sure if this is going to be like the best movie ever, though. Like, no. I can't say it. The next movie is Tower Heist. Mm -hmm. Tower Heist, it's a story about this big tower that goes up for kind of like rich people and all these employees invest their money in this, the tower and the, and the man that owns the top floor and then he pretty much steals their money and then they're going to steal it back. Yeah. That is essentially the storyline. Which seems like a good plot for an actor. Eddie Murphy's your big name star in this one. Yeah. He's been gone for a while, so... See how he gets back on his feet? Yeah, we'll see how he gets back on his feet. The Immortals, or Immortals, I think it's just... Immortals, immortals. yeah. yeah. this 300 movie all over again it's instead pretty much the flip side another kind of army that does less less well-known actors yeah not as big names and this movie might actually play a lot more on the cgi and action side this movie's focused on more cgi right the yeah. special effects like the power of the gods and the power because they saw what the 300 titans. did and they're like we gotta capitalize on that move on further yeah uh next one after that is gonna be j edgar Uh, J. Edgar, it'll be interesting. Um, I'm not really too excited about it. Cause Can't say I am either. It's, it's the, wow. what he had to do to stay in power. and Kind of like the dysfunctional relationship he had with his mom. Another movie coming out, Jack and Jill. First thing I have to say, when people make movies like this, when actors or actresses make movies like this... That Nutty Professor, it, FYI. Yeah, they're going down. The thing is, he produces almost all these movies that he puts out. And he's had a lot of good ones. He's had... It's Bunch true. Of bad ones. And by no means do I want him to go down. Like I like, I like him as an actor, but or just as a comedian. But uh, I don't know. When they make movies like this, that tends to mean bad things. Um, I just, I don't want to see him look like a woman and see him look like a man <laughs> and act. I, I really don't. It just comes down to it's like these twins, brother or sister. She's the zany crazy one. He's the conservative whatever one. Mm -hmm. This might be one of Adam Sandler's worst. Yeah. From what I've seen previews, I just I had no love for it. Next one, Having Feet Two. You know, more or less the same. All Happy Feet dancing. <laughs> you follow the little kid. Gotta say that you're expecting this though. Coming into the uh, the holiday season, some more um, happy-go-lucky family movies that are gonna come out. Since the last ones come out, do you have things like Glee um, or or other shows like that that are more in in depth in the dancing and yeah that yeah for all these big fans out there breaking dawn part uno well i'm not even going to really say anything about the storyline because anyone that's going to see it already knows um, already knows what's going I've been, on i've been very disappointed with the last few i i thought the movies got funnier you know but i thought the acting got cheesier to be honest i'll put my name and my head out on the line for this one as far as acting goes it's just and that's one man's opinion. Yeah, that's true. So this one being divided into two pieces for your enjoyment or for their money. Another movie on the horizon for November is The Muppets. I'm actually interested in The Muppets. I grew up with the TV show. I just bought the first season one on, on DVD. So I'm actually looking, probably thankful to this. You're probably, and I got it on sale, so you're probably right. Yeah. Stories about The Muppets. They have a theater. This bad guy, he's trying to take it away. He's it's like typical for anybody who's actually seen the Muppets from yeah. back in the day. The same same idea. It's just another cartoon from back in the day going big screen. And those two, you know, cartoon judges, of course, are bad again. And yeah, <laughs> like always. They always are, always. right? So, yeah. yeah, always, always bad. Well, it's definitely a comedy too, right? So yeah. if you're looking for comedy, you're looking for something silly. Because Muppets are a silly period, right? Yep. Animals, just classic animals. So, <laughs> you know, go see it. Uh, another family movie, Arthur Christmas. Um, it actually, I think it looks good. Uh, the graphics are good. I just think it's going to be a well-made movie. And I hope it might be one of the, the you know, up or um, Despicable Me kind of caliber. Yeah, yeah, might, you know, yeah, I think you're right. Might be there for the Christmas season. 
uh, it might be at that par for that. So you got some pretty big, well-named actors, and some coming up. Uh, James McAvoy doing even better now than he's been before. Yeah, he's so, a, I, I love him as an actor. So, so now on to kind what, of what we want to see. What we want to see. Yeah. I don't want to see any of those mustaches, but unfortunately, it's November, so we're going to see a lot of them. Yeah. They happen. <laughs> yeah, there's not going to happen here. The first movie I'd like to see is Immortals. I'm just kind of interested in that mythological kind of sci-fi-ish feel to it. The next movie, Muppets. Just I love Muppets growing up. I love Animal. I'm sure he'll do some funny, well, man, well, man, and chase after them like he always does. And then the last movie I want to see is Arthur. Arthur Christmas? Arthur Christmas. Just I just think it'll be a really good animated film. Uh, I have to actually say there's nothing out there this November that I really want to see. Though, for the sake of this, I'll give you something. I would go see Immortals, not because of the action, not because of CGI, just because I have to pick movies here, so... I'm gonna say Harold and Kumar. Might be a decent movie, might be funny. I like some, some things in the trailer that were going on. I was uh, Paul on some things <laughs> the <trailer> going on. <laughs> movie. The other one I want to see is Taurized. I haven't actually heard a lot of it coming, like, going into November. Uh, this is going to be a movie that might actually end up being a really good movie. I haven't seen or heard a lot of hype on it. Alright, so that's what we got for November. Um, stay tuned and we'll give you some reviews on, hopefully, at least the ones that we pick. Yeah. <laughs> if nothing else. So. I'll make some off